everyone, welcome back to another video and today it's gonna be a little different. So I've seen this challenge going around mainly everywhere in the beauty community uh, of people letting their pets pick their makeup and I thought that'd be pretty fun to do but with my art supplies because I do have a lot of them. Well here in Portugal I actually don't have my full collection of art supplies. I've mainly got stuff that I've given my sister or that I brought over from Leeds but we're gonna make do and <laughs> here to help me today is Winter! I'm gonna have to wake her up. <laughs> oh my god! The struggle is real. So this is Winter. Say hi Winter! Hello! You guys might have seen her a couple times on the channel so far. She was there in a video where I recreated some old art last summer and um, she was in a video a couple of weeks ago where I go through my huge fan art folder. And here she is again, but today she's doing something a little bit more important, aren't you, baby? Isn't she beautiful? Look at her, isn't she just the most beautiful dog? Winter actually has an Instagram account, guys, if you guys want to go check that out. She is at Winter the Spaniel. So I've created a couple of categories for today in which I'm going to set um, my art supplies so Winter can pick from. Okay, so first category is paper. So I'm gonna lay out some different kinds of paper. Second category, I've decided on the size of the paper. The third category is going to be two options. So she's gonna get to pick two things from this category, which is the main art supplies. So I've put down pencils, markers, um, black and white graphite pa pencils, paints, uh, so acrylic paints, and watercolors. You're falling off of my lap. And lastly, category four is gonna be the details. So at the end of all my drawings, I always like to add like some little details using a special material. So I put down white gel pen, white Posca pen, or a black pencil. Uh, let's go see what Winter picked out for each one of these. Look at that, my cats are also here. This is Lola. This is winter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Lola. And this is Miffy. Oh, okay, winter. <laughs> winter doesn't like to share the spotlight. Aren't my pets just like beautiful? <laughs> yeah. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to lay out the art supplies in their categories. And if she doesn't seem interested in them at first, um, I might put a little treat in front of each one. And the one she eats slash sniffs first is the one I'm gonna pick out. So I picked out De La Rowney drawing paper, uh, Arteza watercolor pad, and just to spice things up a little bit, this craft toned paper. She, she seems more interested in everything else in this room, apart from the paper. Two very boring minutes later. All right, I think we're gonna have to go for the treat approach because for some reason today, she doesn't seem very interested. Bella, Bunty. Hey, okay, craft paper it is. Oh dear, this is starting off real nice. Category two is picking out A4 or A5. She's just staring at me. Come pick a piece of paper. Oh, okay. She felt A5. She just sniffed it first. So, A5 it is. Next category is art supplies. I actually couldn't find my graphite pencil, so I switched them out for these uh, pastels that I found around the house. So I picked out these De La Rowney acrylic paints, these pastel by Carré, um, by Sakura, my trusty watercolors, um, some markers, and these Arteza colored pencils. <laughs> she is ready. I got a Pansy. Hey, pencils and acrylics. We've got Arteza pencils and acrylics on really thin craft paper. This should be fun. Now we've got our last category, which is the details. So I picked out a jelly roll pen, my white Posca pen, and black pencil. Eh? 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 
Okay, so she seems to be sniffing all of them, but I think the one she sniffed first was the uh, white Posca pen, so we're gonna go with that. I'll give her a treat, because she did so good. Hello, Winter. See, Linda, Linda, Linda. And meanwhile, my cats just watched. <laughs> oh, there she is, a wild Miffy in the wild. Back to the drawing station. AKA my desk. Uh, all right, let's get to drawing something with these. So after picking out all of my art supplies, Winter went and had a nap, <laughs> obviously. And uh, yeah, it was time for me to actually do the drawing with those art supplies. So I kind of set them all out. Um, I actually really missed using these Arteza pencils. I realized after Winter picked them out for me. So this is actually a pretty cool uh, challenge because it just made me pick out my old art supplies from the drawers and actually use them. Um, so I decided for this drawing that it would be mandatory for me to uh, do a drawing of Winter because she is the most beautiful dog I've ever seen. And she is also the one responsible for this drawing, not me. <laughs> I decided to do a little cute little portrait of Winter. I used one of my Arteza pencils in a dark blue to just kind of sketch out my beautiful baby just use a little picture as reference and drew her with some flowers around her. It's very, very sweet. She looks beautiful. I then went in with my acrylics from Daler and Rowney and uh, I just went in first with the white and I'm gonna be real the paper warped a lot less than uh, what I was expecting because it is very thin paper um, it's meant for you know like drawing with pencil and charcoal and stuff like that uh, and it actually didn't warp at all and I was really surprised um, to be fair it is also acrylic and I try to use as little water as I possibly could uh, with the paint so it didn't wrinkle up the paper. Yeah, I went in with then the black and um, I took out some extra colors that I might need for the flowers and everything. But um, yeah, I used the black to add in all of her little patches and all the black fur that she has. She's so pretty. <laughs> I also used like the same paintbrush for everything because obviously I didn't give Winter an option for paintbrushes just because that would very much change depending on what the subject of the drawing was. I, I just went in and added all of her um, base colors pretty much. And then I just kind of picked out a smaller paintbrush just to add in details and the smaller patches around her nose um, just because it would just make it easier for me to add in those tinier details, especially when I go in to the flowers around her and the eyes. And so far the paint was actually working really really nicely with the paper. I was not expecting this at all, I'm gonna be real, I was expecting them to not work together very well but uh, so far so good and uh, yeah I started adding in the details in her eyes and uh, the little hairs that she has around her eyes that are like they kind of look like eyelashes um, yeah this video is just a whole like 10 minutes of me gushing over my dog so sorry <laughs> I then added her little tongue over there and then I started adding in colors to the flowers around her. I made some roses, some daisies, um, et cetera, et cetera. Just the cutest flowers for the cutest dog. <laughs> 
And then it was time to go in with my pencils again, uh, just to, you know, add in that art material. So I used the pencils to add in like extra hair details and some more texture to the drawing and also of course the green leaves. Um, I also used the pencil to kind of shade in the tongue a little bit. Just kind of add as many details as I can with pencils. Uh, this is actually bringing me back to when I used to do a lot of fan art and I used to do a lot of mixed media stuff so uh, sometimes I would do um, watercolor paintings and then go over them with pencil to add details and that still kind of is my process for watercolors, very loosely. Pencils are really good in adding details to like fur and stuff like that. And then I used my white Posca pen, also picked up by Winter, to add in all the details around her and add a little white border around her because since it is colored paper I think I thought it would look really cute and just make her stand out a little bit more. I also used this pen to add like little sparkles to her eyes and her nose. And then I used um, more pencils, of course, to add in more details to the flowers. And it just added a really nice texture to everything, I think, uh, especially because we used acrylic on top of already textured toned paper. So uh, yeah, after that, that was pretty much it. So I wrote Winter's name over there on top. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Winter picked out some very good art supplies. Now it's time to see if Winter likes the drawing that I did of her, so let's go see. I think she liked it a lot, actually. I, I, I lost a bit of the footage of where she was actually sitting on the drawing, so <laughs> sorry about that, but I think she liked it. Oh, que linda! So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope um, you enjoyed what Winter picked out and seeing a little bit of Winter, who's now falling asleep on my on my chest. <laughs> She's a baby. <laughs> I love you. Uh, don't forget to follow Winter on um, on Instagram. She is an Insta babe that everyone should be following. Don't forget to follow me on my socials as well. All the links will be down there in the description, as well as everything that I used in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>